Hello and welcome po sa aking kusina. Today, samahan niyo po akong gumawa ng hot cross buns, also known as Easter buns. So, simulan na po natin. Sa isang lalagyan, maghalo po tayo ng lukewarm water, 1 teaspoon ng sugar, at saka 2 and a half teaspoon of dry active yeast. Mix that and set it aside. Now, isa-isang bowl, paghalu-haluin po natin ang ating lahat ng dry ingredients. Ayan po ang listahan. And in another bowl, let's combine milk, butter, or margarine, sugar, and your salt. And warm it up in the microwave just to melt your butter and warm up your milk. We just don't want cold milk, okay? Combine your yeast and milk mixture together and crack one egg in a small bowl. It will be way easier to uh, fish out any eggshell just in case. And now we're just going to give this a uh, mix and uh, we're going to combine our wet and dry ingredients. So it's pretty simple so far, right guys? So if you have any questions... Just drop me a line at the comment section and I will try my hardest or my best to help you out, okay? So, FYI lang po, I'm not a professional. I just love to cook and bake and share my recipe with you. So, sharing lang po. Now na napagsama-sama na po natin ang ating uh, wet and dry ingredients together, Masahin lang po natin hanggang makabuo po tayo ng uh, dough. At makikita nyo naman po, the bowl is nice and clean. So, just keep kneading until you have a smooth dough. That will take about 8 to 10 minutes. Ano po? So, after that, ilagay nyo lang po ang ating dough sa isang bowl that been uh, greased. And roll your dough in it so that it will not dry out place a cover and set it aside to let it rise one and a half hours to two hours at ayan po after tignan nyo po doble na ang size diba uh, i-punch down nyo lang po ang uh, ating dough at saka po natin i-portion now sa akin po ang ginawa ko ay 50 grams each buns now, nasa sa inyo na po iyan kung gusto niyo pong medyo malalaki o medyo maliliit. Basta equal portion po ang gawin nyo para sabay-sabay po siya at pantay-pantay ang luto. Now, make sure na i-cover nyo po ang ating dough para hindi po siya madry. Sumasahin lang po natin ang ating dough ng ilang sandali at saka po natin siya i-shape ng pabilog. So, ayan, panuorin nyo lang po yung aking ginagawa. Ganyan lang po iyon kasimple. So, once na mabilog po ninyo, ayan, ilagay nyo lang po sa isang baking tray that is lined with parchment paper. So, pagkatapos po nyan, eh, lagyan po natin ng hiwa yung taas. So, ganyan lang po panuorin nyo kung ano yung ginagawa ko. Kailangan nyo lang po na talaga ng matalim na kutsilyo para dito. O kung meron po kayong maliit na blade, pwede rin po iyong gamitin. Mas maganda. And now, let's brush our uh, dough with egg wash, which is just one egg and water beat together. And uh, let the dough rest for about 20 to 30 minutes or until it's doubled in size. So, ayan po, makita nyo, nagdoble na po ang size niya. At i-bake na po natin at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. At saka nyo po palamigin. Bago po natin, lagyan ng icing. So, to make the icing, ayan po, paghaluin nyo lang po iyan. Icing sugar at saka gatas. Now, sa icing, ang consistency po natin na gusto ay hindi po siya sobrang labnaw at hindi rin po siya sobrang lapot para kumapit po siya dun sa ibabaw ng ating buns. So, ayan po, inilagay ko lang po siya sa Ziploc bag or kung piping bag ang gusto nyong gamitin, pwede rin po, it's up to you. So, ayan, ipipe nyo lang po ang inyong icing sa 
sa tapat ng pinaghiwaan po natin kanina. So, ayan, ganyan lang po kasimple yan. Hanggang sa lahat ay malagyan nyo na po ng icing. So, ayan, guys. It's so yummy. Try nyo po. Marami pong salamat. Until next time.